Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and we're back! We're back to printing! It's time to print stuff! Yes! <sighs> Let's do it. You ready? Go! Ah, welcome back! It's been way too long. I've had some busy weeks and weekends, and I haven't been able to print some stuff, and, and I keep forgetting to charge my GoPro. So in order to do a time lapse, I need to have my GoPro, and I need to have it set up and ready. And finally, finally, I was able to complete something, and I did it. I printed, well, I printed this. This is the Graphica Mega Ghost from 3D Kit Bash. It's a free model. You can download this guy for free. And what's interesting is because of the way 3D printing works, you get a hinge built in. So this guy has a hinged tongue. It goes, nah, nah, nah. I did the sound effects. The hinge works because of additive manufacturing. As the model is built up, the hinge is built in place. And that's why I kind of picked this model to tell you about this. Additive manufacturing is wonderful. And the reason it's going to change the world is because it can build things that no other traditional manufacturing method is able to build. For example, this ghost, this, this hinge, this built-in hinge isn't possible through any other normal traditional manufacturing method and there's no way to achieve it. We have to build this in layers in order for that hinge to be created in place. And that's why, that's why it's just so cool. Well, this is cool and it's about, it's about the size of my fist. It's about a little smaller than my fist and it's got some motion and it's kind of cool, but you know, I, I have a G-Max printer and I love printing things big. So why don't we print it bigger? Yes. All right. In order to print it bigger, we're going to have to size it up and simplify 3D and there's certain considerations we have to think about when we size this thing up. So let's go to Simplify 3D. Here we are in Simplify 3D and here is the ghost, the giant ghost. Look at that. This is this is the build plate of the G-Max 1.5 XT Plus. It's 16 inches by 16 inches and the ghost takes up a fair amount of the center so you can tell this is going to be a big model. Let's look at the settings. I'm going to give it 10% infill. The layers are going to be 200 microns tall. It's going to have four top, three bottom, and two perimeters. The first layer is going to be 150% or 300 microns. And that's just to get it to stick really well. I'm going to use a two outline skirt that's four millimeters away from the part. Like I said, it's 10 percent infill 15 percent overlap usually you guys don't have to worry about that there's no support the temperature i'm running on the g max is 209 centigrade at the nozzle cooling is going to be zero the turbo fan will be off for the first three layers and then at layer three it's going to start at 60 percent and it's not going to change unless well it has to change because of these settings here I'm going to print at 60 millimeters per second. That's pretty standard. The G Max can go higher than 60 millimeters per second, but I don't have to do this quickly, so I might as well slow it down and take my time. Once we slice it up, go, go, simplify 3D, slice that model right up into layers. That should be the Simplify 3D theme song, right? I just came up with that. That literally just happened and just in time. If you look up here, it says the build time is going to be 18 hours and 31 minutes. However, this doesn't take into account some of the settings that Simplify 3D doesn't have as much control over. So usually a print like this will take three to four hours longer. Let's take a look. Uh, and this is gonna showcase one of the things that I get to test out making this model so, so big. Watch right, right here. Ah, if you look right here, this is where the internal hinge is being built. And because this is additive manufacturing and layering, it can build it in place. But if you look, the size of the gap between the tongue piece and the rest of the model is sizable. 
and when it's building the internal hinge, it's a it's a very it's a, well, that gap's big. So with a gap that big, it's going to rattle around a little bit. That's one of the things you have to worry about when sizing up models. You're you're sizing up the model, but you're also sizing up any of the gaps or spaces within the model. That's just that's just how it goes. Other than that, though, this model should print just fine. Awesome. Okay. Good. Well, let's ooh, here. Let's pose him. Let's pose him real quick. Get down here. There he is. Look at that guy. What a happy little ghost. Now that we're done with Simplify 3D and we've sliced the model, we need to take it from Simplify 3D and put it on an SD card. Take that SD card, put it into the GMAX printer, warm it up, and hit print. And that's that's just what I did. And you want to see that time lapse? Ready? Time lapse. Time lapse is over and the print is done and that means you can see it right here. Look how big this thing is. This is, so here's, there we go. That's the size. It's, it's, it's huge. It's been sized up and, and there's the, the tongue. Blah, blah. It works really well. And what's interesting, just like I said before, even though we're increasing the size of everything, we're also increasing the size of the gaps in between pieces in the hinge. And that's why on this model, the tongue wobbles quite a bit. Whereas in the smaller model, it doesn't wobble nearly as much. Regardless of that fact, this turned out amazingly well. You can tell that the sides are very, very smooth and the layering done by the GMAX 1.5 XT Plus did a fantastic, well, the layering looks great. Let's just say that. The layering looks great. You can see some, some little pimples on the side from where the layer start points or the layer end points were, but if I really cared, I could sand those down and I'm not too worried about that. Here's what's crazy about this model. The tongue has taste buds and look at those. Look at those. Those are, you could, you could, taste whatever you want with those. The Maker Geeks Who Blue PLA did come through and print a wonderful model. It did string a little bit and I've had stringing issues with this filament in the past, though it doesn't impede the print quality and I'm willing to bet have I take the time to configure the printer and set the right settings for the filament, I could probably reduce if not eliminate the stringing from the filament. You may have noticed some green stuff on the build plate and I'll tell you about that. I ran into an issue with my heated build plate from G-Create. I had some dimples in the build tack and I think I think there was a problem there. So I, I sent that back. They've sent it to me and I have it. I just haven't installed it yet. I had a spare piece of glass and I had this substance called 3D Ease and I was testing it originally on the Wombot and on a heated build plate, it just failed miserably to the point where I didn't even want to talk about the product. I had a spare piece of glass for the G-Max and I thought rather than rubbing glue or putting blue painters tape or ABS juice or whatever on it, I would give this 3D Ease another shot. And surprisingly, on a cold glass bed, it sticks. The PLA sticks wonderfully. It's it, I used it when I was printing the sleeper simulant. I used it when I printed this big ghosty guy and uh, it it worked. And so now I'm conflicted. Do I, do I continue to review it or do I just tell you that it works on a cold bed but it fails miserably on a heated bed? I don't know. We can talk about that in the comments. I also want to take a moment to tell you a new company I'm working with. And that company is called Arcspin and it's a software company that makes this really cool software for mobile devices. And here's how it works. The model that you saw spinning around was on a turntable and I used Arcspin to take pictures of the model as it spun around. Arcspin put those pictures together and then through a link that I can share, 
you can spin the model around in any direction you want as slow or as fast as you want. And the link, of course, is down in the description. But I think it's a very interesting piece of software that I can use to further enhance the videos by showing off models from all different angles with a light source. And here's what's cool, too. With my software background, I'm going to review their software and talk about the technology behind it on my other channel. And that's, well, that's... That's down in the description as well. If you want to subscribe to Technically Nerdy, feel free. And that's where I'm going to put all my non-3D printing nerdy things. With all that said, I think we're at the end of the video. This was a fun print. I really love this model and 3D Kit Bash makes amazingly detailed quality 3D printable things. I highly suggest you check out their website and explore. Look at all the stuff that they have to offer. This one's a free model. You should download this. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was fun to watch. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions about anything we discussed in the video. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Throw a dollar to me or more via patreon.com if you'd like to financially support the channel. I'm never going to require it and I'm always going to do this for free as long as I can. However, I will eventually ask you for a social high five. And speaking of high fives, as always, high five. Is Joel Telly and he's printing 3D like some Pokemon, a gun from Destiny. And when you call him a nerd, he'll stand up proudly because he's packing some heat from his YouTube family. He can review printers till he falls to the floor. Then he'll give them away like Oprah in 04. There's the Wombat, Lulzbot, GMAX XT, then a break for Red Bull and Lobo's Taco Crispy. Printed koozie in his hand for his drink. He sets up his GoPro and prints out a bender bang. So send him a dollar to put in his head or a self addressed envelope for a sticker instead. There's a nerd vlog on boxings and Q's and A's, and he'll open your mail every single Friday. And of course, you can't forget that pancake bot and filament sonic fleas and Joel's your little side. And they printed this printer at Holodex Studio, like Lando Calrissian and Freeze Dried Han Solo. So show your support on Patreon or subscribe, and as always, High five.